Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to So What? I'm Ellen March, Director of Content for Sulky of America. Thanks for joining me this morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee. It's only 8 a.m. here in Colorado, so chime in. Let me know where you're joining me from this morning and how many cups of coffee you've had. <laughs> um, it's going to be a great day. Uh, it's a little bit kind of gloomy here this morning, but uh, the sun is going to come out, so that's fantastic. Um, I certainly love the springtime weather, even though one day it'll snow, the next day it'll rain, the next day it's 80 degrees. You just never know how to dress or what to do. Um, but, you know, we're here in our houses still sheltering in place, and so I'm happy to have this time to connect with you all. Uh, let me know if you have been taking some sewing classes online. Maybe you are doing some kind of virtual quilt swap, or maybe you are exploring the world of online learning and you've never had time for that before. I'm really anxious to hear um, how you guys are all sort of furthering your sewing skills or really just practicing or getting rid of those UFOs or using up those scraps. Um, I'm always on the lookout for great ideas uh, for, you know, clearing out our scrap bins so that we can buy more stuff, get more fabric. Uh, <laughs> so today I'm excited to talk about not only online learning, but our free webinar that is happening this afternoon. So I have a lot, a lot to talk about and a great giveaway today. I will be giving away a pack of Sulky Stick and Stitch. And I'm going to talk about how we use that and why I love it as one of my go-to favorite Sulky products. But this is today's giveaway. So um, people are always asking me, how do I enter the giveaway? Really, you just need to be watching and participating and liking, commenting, sharing the post today, and you're automatically sort of eligible for this little gift. So again, today is a pack of Sulky Stick and Stitch, and it will become your new favorite sewing notion or product rather, because um, I certainly love it and use it for so many different applications. So glad to hear you guys are taking classes online. I think it's just such a great opportunity. And if you weren't aware already, Sulky has a number of online courses that you can take. Um, some of them have really advanced techniques if you're farther along in your sewing. And we also have some beginner videos as well with great expert instruction if you're just starting out sewing, or maybe you want to start machine embroidery, or maybe you want to go back to hand sewing and you've forgotten some of those stitches or forgotten um, some of those techniques. We are here for you for refresher content and for maybe some tips that you just didn't know about. Maybe you've been sewing for 40 years and we still have some little nuggets of information to share with you. So you can go on the Sulky website under um, online education under, um, I, I believe it, it just says education at the top. We'll put a link in the comments here for you so you can easily access that. Um, but as always, our webinars are free. We've got really great webinars where we team up with other experts in the industry who have a certain specialty and we wanna bring that specialty to you. And these are all people who are great champions of Sulky, who have used Sulky products and have incorporated them into their uh, kits and their tutorials and their offerings. So they're, they really know how to use Sulky products well. And we combine forces to bring you really, really great content. And today's webinar is called the Blooming Espadrilles webinar. That's right, espadrilles. I don't know if you all um, have a pair of like Tom's shoes with the canvas or 
Um, maybe you have a fancier pair of espadrilles that you break out for the summertime. I happen to love this type of shoe because it molds to your feet over time. And it's like you have just a pair of shoes hugging your feet. And I have been working on this webinar. I have to tell you all, I have been working on this webinar for a year, a year. It is a year in the making. And I can't believe it's happening today and that you all finally get to see it. You can register for free for, for the webinar. And even if you can't join us live at 2 p.m. Eastern time today, it'll be available on demand after it airs live. So you can watch it at any time. You can go over it. If you grab one of our kits today, you can watch it again while you're going through your kit um, and have instructions from the woman who put together the espadrille kit, the woman who makes has made this her livelihood. Her name is Melissa Qual. She is from A Happy Stitch. She's all about sustainable sewing and, um, you know, using and reusing your stash and making sure that your products are sustainably sourced and things like this. She's a really fascinating woman, and she'll be joining us today at 2 p.m. to go through the how-tos of this project. Um, but at any rate, I got connected with her last year because I was seeing all these embroidered shoes everywhere, embroidered tennis shoes, embroidered, um, even freestanding lace embroideries on like high heels and um, just all kinds of embroidered shoes. And you know what? It is a trend that is not going away. I still see it everywhere. I've seen it on runways. Um, it's a super popular thing to embellish your shoes. And when I saw her kits, she is has... Her kits allow you to not only make your own shoes that fit your feet perfectly, but also embellish them to the nines. You can add whatever kind of embroidery you want to to the shoes. You can, you know, couch ribbon onto the shoes. You, you can do whatever you want. You can paint them if you want. So I thought her shoe kits and what she stands for and just how personable she is. And, you know, I wanted to be her best friend. So I thought you would all want to be her best friend too. So why not join forces and pair some great sulky threads and techniques and embroideries with her basic shoe kit. So that is what we have done. And in today's webinar, you're going to learn two different ways for embellishing the shoes. So if you like to do handwork, or maybe you're a beginner sewer and you don't even quite have a machine yet, the handwork version is for you. You will also learn the machine embroidery version. So if you have embroidery capabilities for your machine, I will go through how to hoop, how to place the design, how to stitch it out, etc. Prepare it for Melissa, and she's going to go over all the how-tos for making the shoes. And let me just show you some pictures because I've been talking long enough without you being able to see the shoes. So first I've got the hand embroidery version. And um, yes, this is a picture of my own feet on my terribly scratched hardwood floor. But this is the handwork version and you can see the thread just really pops. And they are the most comfortable shoes that I own. I'm so happy that I get to keep them. Um, they are a true labor of love. For all of you people who do handwork, these are, this is a cross stitch design, okay? Now you can use the same pattern that we're offering in our kit today and do traditional hand embroidery instead. You can use the same threads, same needles, same notions, and just do different stitches if you would rather. So this I did all in cross stitches and they're kind of tiny little cross stitches as you can see, but the texture and the just quality that this thread gives this sort of sketchy floral design, I think is just so cool. And the design was developed so that it fits this toe portion of the shoe exactly. Um, even if you are on the larger end of the size range or the smaller end, we're going to go through today 
how you can um, size up or size down the design if you want, or you can just sew it out and have a little bit of that design going into the stitches that secure that piece to the shoe. And either way, it's a really cool result. And I'm telling you what, you're going to love these shoes. So this is the handwork version. If you are taking a look at the kits, and I put the link in the description of today's post for the kits, not only do you need to select the correct size and don't go by your normal shoe size. I had to go up a half size. You might have to go down a size. What you want to do is actually measure your foot. And there are instructions on that page for purchasing the kit that tell you about measuring your foot. And we're going to go into it in depth in today's webinar because we want to make sure that you get the shoes that are right for your feet. You know, everybody's feet obviously are so different. Everyone fits shoes so differently. And we want to make sure that you have a great result. So in today's webinar, we will go over the sizing and how to fit them um, a little bit more snug to your foot. Or if you would like a roomier shoe, we're going to go over that too. So never fear. Um, but I also want to mention that they do sort of mold to your feet over time. So when I first put my pair on, they fit very snugly and I had to kind of like shove my foot into the shoe. But three days later, after only wearing them, you know, a few hours, I mean, let's face it, how often are we wearing shoes right now? <laughs> I don't wear shoes in my house, and that's where I've been for quite some time. Um, but anyways, only after wearing them for, you know, a, a few hours each day, they are now the most comfortable shoes, like I said, and they slip right on and off, and it's like they were made specifically for my feet, so... Um, keep that in mind. So along with choosing the size that's right for your foot, you also want to choose hand embroidery or machine embroidery because the kit contents is going to differ based on the technique that you're using to embellish. So obviously for the handwork that you see here, we're using sulky 12 weight cotton petites thread. And you might be thinking, thread for cross stitch? Shouldn't I be using floss? Well, there are so many benefits to using a spool of thread rather than using a skein of floss. I mean, number one is sheer organization. Um, every time I go to use floss, I have to pull it out of the skein. Inevitably, I get a knot. Then they tell me I need two strands. Then I have to pull more out. I'm always throwing away this giant knot that I can't get rid of. Well, when you're using 12 weight thread that comes on a spool, you don't have this problem. Plus, sulky thread comes on a snap spool. So you can pop the end off, wind your excess thread into the end, and pop it down, and it's all contained. Love that. Not to mention all the beautiful colors you have at your disposal, and it's just so much easier. Then you can also sew with it on your machine if you have a big enough needle. You need about at least a 9014, probably up to a 116 needle for 12 weight thread, but you can use your sewing machine to then use the same thread. So it's interchangeable. I absolutely love that. Anyways, this is the handwork version, and this is where we are also using the Sulky Stick and Stitch that I talked about earlier. The Stick and Stitch, which is our giveaway today, is this product right here. All right, it is a sticky adhesive backed stabilizer sheet that is water soluble. That's right. It washes away completely under running water, leaving absolutely no trace. No one would ever know that I made those, those shoes using basically stamped cross stitch. Stamped cross stitch. I didn't have to count over and count up. I printed my design directly onto the stick and stitch sheet. Then you peel it away from the paper backing and it's like a sticker. Then you sew right through it and you can follow your lines and follow, put your little cross stitches where they need to go. See how it's gridded? If that prints out with the, the um, design that comes with the kit today. Stitch through all layers 
and you've eliminated the need for the counted cross stitch. So that's my little cheat. That's my little cheat that I did for the shoes. You're getting a lot of information that we will expand upon in the webinar this afternoon. So again, be sure to register. All right, so I'm gonna show you the hand embroidery version. But first, let me see if there are some uh, questions that I need to answer. Someone is saying, I ordered the kit, but there is no information on where to get the embroidery design. Okay, so the kit should have come with a little sticker that has the URL for going and getting your design. And it's a little bit different for the handwork version than it is for the machine embroidery version for obvious reasons. There should be a little URL for where to go to get that design. And if you're having trouble finding that in your kit, please email at us at info at sulky.com. We want to help you um, navigate to that in your kit contents. So thank you for bringing that to our attention. All right. Love using the sticky stabilizers. Me too. What a time saver. The sticky stabilizers and the water solubles, I have to say, are my favorites. Uh, kind of no matter what I am sewing. I love working with those. So let's, I just want to make sure we don't have any more questions. Need to check out some online classes. Yeah, you know, we have some great opportunities and actually um, one that's coming up in a couple weeks that I'll be telling you about next week. So stay tuned to the Facebook Live to So What because we have some great, great opportunities um, coming up for you to kind of get your feet wet and test the waters for um, some sulky education. All right, so need to get to the free motion class. I am signed up. Yes, we have um, a couple of different free motion classes. Um, right now there is free motion two, I believe it's called Beyond the Basics. And that is a great, great class. We had some great feedback from some people who said, um, yes, fearless free motion, I am now fearless. So mission accomplished. <laughs> if you've never done free motion stitching, I highly suggest you take this class and get some expert instruction. Eric Drexler is the teacher and he, you know, creates some amazing artwork with stitches. And it's not only is it fascinating to watch, but then you feel like you can do it yourself, which is amazing. Good morning, Deb. Thanks for joining. I'd also like to know if you guys can chime in. I'd like to know if you like this earlier time for the So What, or if you would prefer it later in the afternoon, because I am here for you. I want to make sure that we have, um, that we are here in a convenient time for everyone. I know right now we don't really know what time is convenient because we don't really remember what day it is. Am I right? <laughs> let alone what time it is. Um, but please let me know. So, um, great. All right. Signed up already for the webinar. Looking forward to it. Me too. I can't, I can't wait. I really, I love webinar days. Okay. Here's a great question. Where do you sign up? So, in the um, description of this live post, I put a link for signing up and registering for the webinar. You might have to scroll down and um, we just put in a comment there so you can uh, navigate directly to the sign up page. It takes you to our uh, online education registration portal and you just give your name and email address and then you'll get a reminder uh, that the webinar is about to start. So you'll be able to log in and join us 2 p.m. Eastern time today. All right, so I want to show you our machine embroidery version. And yes, those are my feet again on a day where we actually had some sunshine. So exciting. I had my feet up on my patio. <laughs> and this is the machine embroidery version. Now, did you know you can do machine embroidery cross stitch? What a time saver. You can tell that the stitches are not as pronounced in the machine embroidery version because we're using a 40 weight poly deco thread instead of that 12 weight cotton thread. Obviously the 12 weight is gonna 
pop a lot more. And you simply cannot use the 12 weight in the machine for this design. The design was digitized for 40 weight thread. So if you try to go up and use a thicker thread, that's when you get breakage. That's when you get knots. That's when you have problems. You want to stick with the thread that was digitized, that the design was digitized for. So I still think they ended up beautifully. I like how they have a little bit of a different look. Uh, the thread color numbers are actually the same. Um, so it's the, the same color palette, but here you can just see the little bit of a difference in the thread weight. And again, love how these fit my feet, love how they turned out, and I'll show you some of the kit components here so that you can kind of get a better feel for what you would be receiving. So the sh soles of the shoe, um, I've gotten a few messages about this because, and I get it, people are very particular about how their shoes fit their feet. Um, you know, we've got people who are super flat footed. We have people who need arch support, things like that. The bottom line is these have no arch support. I mean, this is the shoe sole. Okay. It's completely flat. I don't know if you can insert an orthotic or something like that, if that's your deal and you need that. Um, I, the only way to know would be to test. Um, and I just simply don't have one of those. Maybe some of you, if you have espadrilles that you already wear that, and you need that support, maybe you can let us know in the comments. Um, but yes, it's a very flat shoe. I will say, you know how I was telling you that the, the fabric, the canvas fabric we're using to embellish, it does form to your foot. And when I'm wearing the shoes, um, you know, they bend rather easily. And over time, like I said, they get more and more comfortable. Um, so I do understand if you have that issue, um, just know before you purchase that it is a very flat shoe. It's just, it's the nature of the beast. Um, so that is what the sole looks like. This is what we will be sewing through ultimately to uh, construct our shoes after we have embellished them. So first, you know, you're going to use your stick and stitch, transfer your design, um, or sew through it rather using your stick and stitch. And then if you have the machine embroidery version, you will embroider it prior to cutting out your pieces, right? So this is just a sample embroidery. I tried to sew it out on, on the smallest scale that I could to see if the digitizing was great. And it was, it worked out perfectly. And like I said, it's a really kind of sketchy, um, embroidery design and I just really like that about it. Um, it doesn't have super defined lines for the outlines. Some of the colors go beyond the outline um, with the little cross stitches and I just really love the look of it and it's just nice bright and sunshiny colors. So at any rate you will need lining fabric of your choice. It is not included in the kit. We thought this was a great opportunity for you to dive into your stash because you don't need very much for the lining and you can get really creative. You can put a nice floral lining in there or just stick with a solid. Um, it's really up to you. And, you know, I'm sure we all have tons of scrap fabric that we can choose for the lining. Um, there's also some interfacing. We will be using the Sulky um, soft and sheer extra, which is a fusible stabilizer. It's very lightweight. We're going to be using that as interfacing. Um, I've got a picture here. Here is what is included with the machine embroidery kit. So you'll be getting your design download codes, the shoe kit, um, all of the silky threads and, uh, tear easy for embroidery, the soft and sheer extra for, the interfacing and a pack of organ needles for your embroidery. And you can see for the machine embroidery version, uh, there's just a really vibrant, solid pink fabric for the lining. And I absolutely love it. Now, 
with the base shoe kit, I'm calling it the base shoe kit because it comes with either the machine or hand embroidery version, you get the soles, you get a bamboo turner, which is really handy, and you get this extra, extra heavy duty espadrilles thread, which you're going to use to sew your pieces to the sole. You absolutely need that because it needs to be super duper heavy duty and strong to hold that together. You're also going to get a little nifty pouch of other notions um, in, you know, with your bamboo turner. You also get some uh, like upholstery needles because you need a big fat needle to go into that sole. And we're going to show you exactly what stitch to use and how to navigate through all of those layers. So, all right. Okay, someone is again is asking, I have the kit, I don't see the sticker with the code. Should I contact customer service? Yes, please contact customer service. Give us a call or email info at sulky.com and we will help you out if you can have your order number ready. Uh, we just need, need to make sure that um, it, it's not hiding somewhere in the kit. Uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's in a spot where um, it, it may have fallen through the cracks because there are so many things included in this kit, but it should be on a little sticker or slip of paper for you. And we want to get that sorted out. All right. And yes, here is a link to the kit so you can check those out. I just showed you the machine embroidery kit. Here is everything that you get with the hand embroidery kit. And, you know, again, you're gonna get your design files. You get a couple of sheets of stick and stitch, one for the right shoe, one for the left shoe. So you might want to pick up an extra pack of stick and stitch because I'll tell you right now, once you use it, you're gonna wanna keep using it. <laughs> And then you get all those sulky threads and again, your stabilizer, soft and sheer extra that we are using for interfacing the shoe pieces. So um, these are just great, great kits. Everything you need to embellish the shoe as well as create it. And I cannot wait to see everything that you all come up with. With the machine embroidery kit, you're also going to get a bonus design. Uh, and the reason is just because I like it and we have used it on a shoe project previously that was done by hand from uh, Stephanie Woodson of Swoodson Says. And I digitized that design. Isn't it cute? It's so cute for the side of the shoe. And we'll go over that today too. I'm just giving you all the sneak peeks because, you know, why not? It's fun. But I digitized this to uh, be created in the same color palette as the threads for the main design. So you'll basically just be getting a, a freebie design. Um, and if you choose to use that one for the shoes, so be it. It is your prerogative. So again, today's giveaway is a pack of stick and stitch that I have been talking about. So like comment, share the post today, and uh, one person will be the lucky winner of this gifty. You can also see, you can put this directly through your printer. I don't think that I mentioned that, although I did show you my design that I put through the printer, and you want to, you, you can print it in color, and then you can just follow the colors with your thread, or you can print it in black and white if you prefer. You want to do a printer setting that is like a draft setting, just so you don't have um, a lot of ink to contend with. Can't hurt. I always do a draft setting, and I actually printed this in color. It's kind of difficult to see, but it was just enough to prompt me for what color to use in which square for the cross stitches. So, all right, going to sign up. Looking forward to it. Yeah, you know what? If you have a free afternoon, please join us today for the webinar. You can see what they're all about. How many of you have been to a Sulky webinar before? Give me a th thumbs up or a heart if you have attended a Sulky webinar in the past. And if not, I hope you join us because 
we do them almost every month. We only take a couple of months off uh, for the year, and they're really, really great free education opportunities um, and opportunities to get to know some other designers in the industry that maybe you ha haven't heard of them before. Maybe you don't know about their patterns. Maybe you aren't aware of the fabrics that they design. And it's really fascinating hearing people's stories about how they got in the sewing industry, how they're able to make money from their craft. You know, it's was a dream of mine, and I can't believe I get to live it every day, to be able to sew and design and create patterns and connect with other people like yourselves. And I get to do it for my career. I pinch myself every day. So it's great hearing these people's stories of how they got into this, what brought them here. Um, you know, why did they create this pattern? You might hear the best stories. And it's just fascinating. That's kind of my favorite part of a lot of these webinars is listening to people tell that story and learn how they got here. And it's just really, really inspiring. So sulky webinars are the best. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> All right. Is it hard to get the needle through that fabric and the sticky? I assume that you are talking about the stick and stitch. So it's actually very simple. Um, it's the stick and stitch is relatively, I mean, it's very lightweight. I, I don't know if I can really show you, but it is, it, it doesn't add anything. Um, how do I describe it? It doesn't really add much weight to the fabric that you're working on. Um, yet, it does stabilize it as well. So actually, one of the shoes that I stitched, I believe it was the left one, I didn't use a hoop at all. I put the, the stick and stitch stabilizer on the top and sewed right through it without a hoop. The right shoe, I used a hoop. And this was really just for my own testing to see, can I do this without a hoop? And is this gonna be enough stabilizer to you know, make it not be a wrinkly mess. And it was. It's pretty great stuff. So if you have issues and you feel like your needle is maybe sticking when you're trying to pull it out when you're hand sewing, you can try some um, sewer's aid. Sewer's aid is kind of like a needle lubricant. Um, it's really great for metallic thread sewing. You can put a little tiny dot on your needle and then when you thread the metallic thread through, or really any thread that has um, like a texture to it, it'll just glide right by and it's water-based. So it's not gonna leave like an oily residue or a stain on anything that you're working on. But you can put a tiny little bit of that on your needle when you're hand sewing and it'll just glide right through. Now, I must admit, I don't use that product when I'm hand sewing through this and it works just fine. So um, let's see. Nice to see cross stitches back. You know what? I just, I love cross stitch. If you saw our video a couple weeks ago, I talked about how cross stitch is really making a comeback. And when I was growing up, my mom always had a cross stitch project on her lap in the evenings, you know, if we watch TV or played games as a family, she was always working on a different cross stitch pattern. And it just kind of phased out of her life. And she got way more into machine sewing. And now that you can do cross stitch through machine embroidery designs, uh, amazing. Um, but I digress. So cross stitch by hand is certainly making a comeback. And if you go on YouTube, you can see our intro to cross stitch video series. If you want a refresher for cross stitch, if you want some tips and tricks uh, from a great, great designer, her name is Amanda May. She worked on this video series with us and her YouTube channel is Ardith Designs. And she has some great tips for how to start a stitch, how to end a stitch, how to follow different types of patterns, whether that's a digital pattern or a vintage pattern, 
things of this nature, unconventional materials to try. Um, she has a lot, a lot of fun with it. And her laugh is contagious and she just has a great overall persona and you guys will love her. So definitely check out our video uh, series intro to cross stitch. If you're interested in doing the handwork design, but maybe you think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stitches. It's pretty intimidating. Um, certainly take a look at the video series because you will see cross stitch. It, you're really just making cross stitches and it's two stitches per square. And, you know, it may be a little time consuming, but you kind of get get into the zen of your project and it's actually really really fun and actually really great for beginners to kind of get their feet wet and to understand how stitches are formed and to see the pattern come to life and it's just made of a bunch of x's it's I just love it so much so I am happy to see that it is on the rise and there's a lot of youtubers out there they actually call themselves floss tubers um, I would like to change that, though, because using thread instead of floss is definitely, I think, the way to go <laughs> when you're cross-stitching or doing any kind of handwork. Um, but, you know, I get it. So you can check that out. And, um, okay, I just want to make sure that, yes, if you just joined... You can join us until the end of the broadcast today, and then you can always start over because this will end up being an on-demand video. So, all right, I just want to show you a couple more things. So today, for those of you who are just joining us, we're talking about our espadrilles webinar. It's called Blooming Espadrilles. It is live today at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. You can register through the links in this post and join us at two o'clock for a great, great online class that's free from Melissa Qual, the espadrilles expert, and you'll learn straight from her and you can ask questions. They will be answered live. Um, it's just like being in an in-person class, but you can join us in your pajamas or with a glass of wine or with a cup of coffee whatever floats your boat, and you can have a great class in your living room on your own time. So I'm going to show you again um, sort of a side-by-side -side view of the hand embroidery espadrilles kit and the machine embroidery espadrilles kit so you can see the differences again. Because maybe you can do machine embroidery, but you'd rather do the hand version because you want the look of those thick, pronounced textured threads, or maybe you prefer the machine embroidery version. Um, I will say, obviously, you can do that one in a fraction of the time if, you, if your machine has those capabilities, and then you'll have this design that you can use over and over again for other things. So here are the shoes, and you can see I use just a solid fabric for the lining. You can get really creative because it might peek out every now and again, and you can see you know, little flowers, or maybe you have a favorite fabric that you just didn't know what to use it for, here's your opportunity. So they do look a little bit floppy in this picture, but I absolutely love it because you can see the side-by-side -side comparison of the two different kits. Uh, but again, here they are on my feet. This is the handwork version, and this is the machine version side by side. So then you can kind of see. And you can see how they really hug your feet and uh, they're just so nice and comfortable to wear. So I hope you all will join us this afternoon. It's going to be a great time. Uh, we also give away door prizes. So if you're excited about the stick and stitch giveaway today for the Facebook Live, You'll have two more opportunities to win great, great door prizes this afternoon uh, during the webinar. So there's always that. So you get your chance to win some extra prizes. You get some special freebies that Melissa is providing to the re registrants of the webinar. You'll get all the 
instructions, the how-tos to create these shoes, the tips for fitting, all that stuff that you really, really need when you're creating this project, and maybe some tips and tricks that you didn't know about regarding the hand and machine embroidery techniques. So lots to discuss later this afternoon, and um, I'm excited to see you all there. And um, again, if you're um, if you have any other questions about the kits, you can put them in the comments here and I will answer them. And if you are having trouble accessing your design, again, send us an email with your order number and we will be happy to assist you. And oh, those shoes are amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I love them. And I just can't wait to see pictures of everybody's feet. If you do make the shoes, please snap a pic of your feet and you can post it on social media with the hashtag so better with sulky because we really want to see what you create um, or just a picture of them without your feet if you know you don't want to show your feet. <laughs> All right, so looking forward to it. Great. Oh, a stressed out teacher taking her lunch break. You know what? I will be taking my lunch break then as well because man, <sighs> this homeschooling has got me. I will tell you what. <laughs> it is a challenge. Teachers out there, you know what? You deserve it all. You deserve the world. Um, I find that uh, just dealing with the emotions of my three children is, whew, is, is difficult enough without trying to learn fractions again. Okay, but I digress. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi, Desiree. Desiree's on, everybody. If you were lucky enough to take Desiree's webinar in April, Desiree's webinar was all about creating these Color Me quilts with her amazing artistic techniques. And if you missed it, you can always, always watch that one on demand. In fact, you can watch all of our webinars on demand. You can access them on the Sulky website. If you missed any of them, you can check them out there. And I'm so excited for all of you newbies who haven't seen one of our webinars. They're super interactive. They're really fun. You will feel like you're part of the community. And um, we're excited to have you. So again, thank you so much for joining me today on So What? I look forward to connecting with you again this afternoon and have a wonderful day, everyone.